One of the biggest nights in fashion raises a fundraiser for New York's Metropolitan Museum of Art. This is Kim Kardashian with her boyfriend, Pete Davidson. She won of Marilyn Monroe's most iconic dresses. A lot of people came out in support. Even Hillary Clinton did too. And happening today, there's going to be a grand opening for Philadelphia's newest restaurant called The Liberty Point. It's the city's largest outdoor restaurant. It seats up to 400 or more people. So I think a lot of people will be attended there. The first level has dog level. So bring along your fur baby friends. And then the second level has drinks, then food, then even some live entertainment. Let's go to Larissa to see how things are shaping up to be as she brings you her latest forecast from CBS3. And that's all y'all need to know. Larissa, my sister, be a dear. Take it away for me. severe weather threat across southwestern Pennsylvania. Much of Ohio, in fact, that threat expands west into Indiana as well. As far as our neck of the woods, it's just plain rain, but a few rumbles of thunder are not out of the question, and rain will develop later on tonight. Temperatures won't be too cold. In fact, we stay mild at around 53 degrees, with winds out of the east coming in between 5 at times 10 miles an hour. Take a look at precip chances over the next six days. Now, I told you we are shaping up into or we're crossing into what's going to be an unsettled pattern, starting with tonight's rain that will spill into Wednesday. Thursday looks dry. In fact, Thursday is the pick of the week because more rain on the way to round out the week on Friday. And it's shaping up to be a not so great start to the weekend as we will experience periods of rain for the start of our Saturday. And then it does look dry, but not all that dry for Sunday. And that's something we're going to be watching closely. So let's go ahead and time out tomorrow's rain. It moves in tonight, 11 a.m. You can see that cold front clearly. We could see at this time a few claps of thunder. And some of these storms can certainly pack a punch, so heavy rain is also a possibility. As we head towards 2.30, this is the most widespread rain we'll see throughout the next 24 hours. And you can see pretty heavy rainfall out of this out towards South Jersey. Central, southern Delaware also going to see heavy rain as we continue to push the clock forward. Here's 5.30. A lot of you are waking up, maybe even. Uh, going to get their day started and we should see a lot of that rain begin to taper off but we're not quite clear we'll be in and out of rain pretty much for the rest of the day but the most widespread rain will take place overnight tonight notice 5 p.m you see some more rain out towards south jersey central southern delaware as well and some more droplets of rain north and west of the vicinity and then we're clear thursday's looking good in fact we are going to see clear conditions for the second half of the work week but but they're short-lived because system number two of the week moves through on Friday and this one is accompanied with chilly air. You see that bulge in the jet stream that's going to allow for that cooler air to migrate and it's going to send our temperatures back into the 50s for the start of the weekend. A quick peek here at the seven day. Today it's mostly cloudy out there but it's still mild with temperatures in the low 70s. By tomorrow we're a little bit warmer and I showed you the most widespread rain will take place overnight tonight and then it turns scattered like so not all day rain, but we could see some downpours tomorrow. Temperatures will be in the middle 70s. Low 70s, a really nice day for us on Thursday. We're cooler with showers returning by Friday afternoon. And then it does look like an all day rain on Saturday, followed by a beautiful end to our weekend. Thank you very much, Larissa. Our final headline is coming up next. Better stay put, everybody. We'll be right back. 